Hi guys and welcome to, I guess this weird little kind of vote video type thing. So what tutorials do you guys want me to, to do next? So there'll actually be a link in the description that goes straight to this. Comments will be disabled on this video as well. Just to make sure you guys use this one instead. It's just a lot easier to obviously count up votes on this. Um, but basically you'll go to this link, it'll just go to the straw poll. You can then click which ones you want. I'll be showing them in the like rest of the video so you get to see the ships and you get to see the plane, or plane I guess it is. Um, that you actually want to see. So for example, if I want to do, well, I can I can actually show you the ones that I've actually already tutorialed or already started to uh, record. So I've already got the buy room done and also, is that it at the minute? Oh, Vanguard. So you might want to do that and then you just click vote and I'll take you over to this. So there you go. You can see that it's only me at the minute, but you can see the actual split up and then you guys can see that. So you can actually see that anytime just by doing, well, if we go back to it, back to this main poll, you can just click on results and it'll take you over there. Anyway, let's go and have a look at all of these. Um, all of them are named here, and I'll all be you know, saying all of them as well. Uh, but this will just give me an idea, and then I can actually just clear them. These are all old builds, or older builds that I've actually had. So, here we are in... Oh, Minecraft, if I can actually get my... Why can't I get my camera right today? There we go. So, what we've got first is the Antonov AN-225 Maria, I think it is. Um, big, big plane. Really, really big plane. I mean... Size-wise, you can have a look at the biggest, you know, container ship that I've got compared to it. It is huge. It'll be a bit of a long tutorial. Well, it will be a long tutorial. Uh, but I know that people have been asking for this one for a little while. So, if you want this one, you know, you can always vote for it and everything. But, look at this. Huge. So, yeah. Lots and lots of people have been requesting it. Um, it'll probably be quite high up on the list, I expect. So, we're going to see that. Or, I expect to see that. It is just huge. <laughs> It really is. Um, the next one that we actually have on the list is, I think it's the Apollo. Yeah, this is the Apollo. Uh, so with my container ships, I just named them after Greek gods, and they're roughly shaped under, or over, over ships, under ships? Roughly shaped for ships, like container ships and things. I can't remember which one this one, but it's got a, a crane on it in the middle. A bit of a different design. Uh, so there's the Apollo. It's kind of relatively well-sized. We then have the Prometheus next to it as well. Ignore all these... Uh, weird biome things that I've just ripped it right out of one of my worlds. You can see how big the Prometheus is. The Prometheus is the biggest one that I've done so far. It might be the longest ship that I've done so far. I can't remember. I think it is bigger than the H44. Um, obviously I won't be showing you how to do the whole crate thing but I'll show you how to do the idea. But it, it shouldn't be too <laughs> difficult. It won't be as difficult detail wise as the um, H44 was. Uh, the next one that we have in line is the Atlantis Ferry. So this one was actually built from a design I, I just kind of saw on uh, Google SketchUp Warehouse. I saw one of those, brought it up, and I was like, holy sh shit, this is good. And sorry for swearing again. But um, yeah, it's just really cool. Uh, it's very fancy as well. Not to keen on the front of it, but um, I've started to do you know, little bits of detailing on the inside, I guess. Maybe not on this version, actually. I don't think I've done it on this version. I don't think I've done detailing. But... Um, it's really, really cool. It's just it's just very difficult. Uh, difficult. It's very different. And it's very big. It's probably a you know cross continent not really cross continental one, but it would it take a couple of hours, you know, journey. So it's got like these weird pylony things here, which are for a like a, like a restaurant or something in here. So very, very big. So it's not just, you know, a cheap cheap journey, but it does have the big door at the back. And everything like that. So there you go. That's where you'd actually drive your cars in. It's got four lanes. So I fit in. I've been able to fit in four lanes to then drive into the back there. You can see the open uh, bit there. Now the next one we have is a Battlestar Galactica build, the Colonial One. So people like the Colonial One. Uh, I like it. I need to change the colours on it. Obviously here, um, it should not be camouflaged. It's because of the texture pack I was using at the time. So I'll change that before doing the tutorial, uh, without you know any issues or whatever. But yep, yeah, Colonial One. Uh, I think it still looks really cool, actually. Uh, it's really nice shapes and everything. Uh, then we have the Atago class destroyer. This is a Japanese destroyer. It looks very much like the early Ali Burke. It's almost like a more advanced version of the Ali Burke, or at least that's what I think of it. Why are they taking men? Men treat that's weird. But yeah, it's like a, a really cool version, really really sleek version. Um, it's quite big as well. So you've got the whole back here. It's got like a little helipad. There. Well, a little helipad, quite a big helipad. I'm probably going to have to do, uh, what was it, 6,000? Is it 6,000? Oh, something like that. I can't remember the commands for normal stuff now. Um, there we go. So, it's the, it's the awesome. This is one of my favourite ones um, that I've actually done 
uh, destroyer wise it's just really cool um, big gun and also the, the actual you know bridge part here when you have to look out it's really cool as well as the entire well the whole bridge is actually huge as well so it's really nice next we have the British uh, Vanguard class submarine um, so this one I built absolutely years ago like literally years ago so it's quite an old design but um, I've already tutorialed that one. I just need to edit the video. So I'll just, you know, hurry the editing on um, if you guys vote for that one. We also have the Bori class submarine as well. This is a Russian one. Um, pretty big. Uh, I think it replaced the Typhoon. But it was, you know, obviously a lot smaller. But it looks really, really cool. Shape-wise, it's a lot better than the, the Vanguard, for example. Then what we have next is the Coney class frigate. This has actually got um, food on it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um... Yeah, Coney class frigate is used by the Bulgarian Navy as well. Uh, it's an older one, but I'd then, if I'm going to do a tutorial, I would I would shape it up before doing the tutorial, I think, um, just to make it look a lot better. Uh, same with the Nelson class. These are my own designs in the Nelson class. Oh god, I've got a cold. Um, so yeah, the Nelson class, what I've got is two different designs. I've got like a what I, what I use for a helicraft carrier, um, which is this one here with two actual lifts in it, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? So I've got those two. And I've also got the destroyer version. I really like the destroyer version. It's pretty packed with weaponry, this. And it's got a load of missiles and it's got two big guns on it, so it that is pretty heavy. But that's, that's my own design. I'll touch that one up if you guys want me to. And because the hull is basically the same on both of them, there is minor tweaks. I would then do one tutorial for the hull and then... I don't know how I'd do the two separate ones, but I'll probably put a, a timestamp or something in the video or I do it as, as two parts for which topping you'd want <laughs> if you think about it that way a little bit weird but uh, what we also have is an Alkesh this is a Stargate SG-1 uh, kind of one actually so it's an Alkesh again the materials are a little bit eh, but we can change that over really really quickly but it's a bit of a, a weird build just because the way it is shape wise uh, I tried to do the best I could but still quite interesting uh, very big on the inside as well I can't stop sniffing. There you go. So it's very big on the inside. But they were supposed to like carry massive amounts of troops. So we've got that. So we're going to go on to the medieval now. So I will just switch over to Conquest. Okay, so we're over in Conquest. So the medieval type sailing ship. Well, they're not really medieval. But, you know, it, in terms of categories, we just really have modern and medieval. And that's it. Uh, is the sun also going up? I'm not really too sure. Um, so these would be like the, the sailing type ones. The conquesty ones. We have got the Trireme, which is absolutely huge. It's amazing how much I had to upscale this one just to make it fit in three ore banks. Uh, but you can see the Byrim there, which is also pretty big. Uh, it's kind of like dwarfed by it. So there we go. We've got the Byrim, uh, Trireme. It's very, very big, but um, quite simple in design. You know, I wouldn't have to show you guys how to do all of these individually. I could just so show you uh, how I did a couple of them and, and the patterns you do. But very big. I love to sail on it. I think it looks awesome. So, Trireme, you've got the Byreme as well, another Greek one. I've now recorded this one, I just need to edit it, so uh, this one will be a really easy one if you wanted that one. We have, and I can never remember which ones are which. Um, uh, I think, yeah, this one is the Chinese Medium Ship 1. So we got that, and I think this one's the Chinese Medium Ship 2. I think it's done on a slight size difference, so they're just very, very similar though. So we've got the medium ships, you know, if you wanted those, just, just click the medium ships. That'd be much easier. I think the sun's going down, oh well. Um, we've also got the large ships, we've got the Chinese, like, junk, mm, like, large ships. They're very big, very, very big. Uh, very big, big scale sails, so that'll be a nightmare. And last but not least at all is the Cutty Suck. So Cutty Suck is actually a merchant ship uh, that's currently in Greenwich, London. Um... I've got this one built. I had it built for a while. The rigging and stuff took absolutely ages, as you can see. It's very, very complicated, but very big as well. So I think it looks awesome. I'm really happy with how this one turned out. It, it just, it just works. Right, so it's got four sets of like, you know, normal sails on the, on the big ones. Uh, these front ones, the front sails aren't great. So I think I'll try and redo those um, before I do a tutorial or I'll just redo it in the tutorial and see what we come up with. Um, but it's got it's got a lot of sales on it. It's very quick, very, very quick. But it's a it's a different one, you know, it's a merchant ship. So okay, you've got some little boats on there. Uh, this is actually the pump I decided to put in. Um, 
How do you get down? Just to show you guys it in there. I haven't done any of the interior stuff, but it will give you an idea size-wise what we're working with. My voice is really croaky today as well. So it's like the little cabin. That's where the actual bit goes down there. Um, there we go. Big kind of area here. Uh, then goes down another level into water, obviously. And, and that's got a big area as well. So it's got a couple floors, you know. It's not stupidly massive, but it is it's pretty big ship. And it's still around as well in Greenwich, London. So um, I thought I'd do that one. It's got a lot of you know details on it. I tried to do this weird little thing at the front here. <laughs> we have a white creeper. So it's a little bit weird. But there you go, that's the cutty suck as well. So that's all of them. So if you guys again go over to this. Um what I'd probably do is, you know, watch through the video maybe again and then go, ah, do I want that one? Yeah I do, and then tick it and then go, yeah, I want that one, and I want that one, and I want that one, and then you just press vote. Now if I do it, it'll tell me that I can't do it because I've already voted. So it's it, it's kind of fair. But that'll allow me to set up everything and decide what to um to start working on. I'm not going to do any new stuff for a while. I'm just going to clear down these. And I mean, seriously, I'm just going to clear down these and just get them out of the way. Um, but at least you voting will actually tell me which kind of order you guys want it in. So anyway, thanks very much for watching, guys. I will see you on the next one.